Hello everyone, welcome to the 13th tutorial on a beginner's guide on how to tweet motion. So, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to create videos as well as exporting them. Here's an example, here's another one. So, you've seen the difference between what it looks like from morning and in the evening. Pretty amazing, right? Let's do this. So, like in image, Let's position the camera where we want the video to start initially. Let's try here for a start. Let's look down here. Then, of course, back to the dock, to media, and here in video. Last one, we use image, right? Next time. And I mean, this time, we're going to be using this one. Now, click here. And here's our first sequence. So. Click this button right here to extend it or to add another part, but we got to move our camera somewhere first. Let's use this view. So if you click here, there goes the next sequence. So just click this play button right here to see how it's going to look like. There. So actually, with this, we can already export it and have our own video. But let's try to change the duration first. From Let's make it 6 because that seems to be too long. Now let's try again. Look how fast it went now this time. Okay, so let's try exporting this. Now go back to here. Export. Oh, sorry. We got to select the one that we made first. This one. Start export same folder now it's just a waiting game let's see how long it's gonna take us don't worry it's gonna decrease a lot smaller than that okay so after exporting here's the video let's try and play it and see what's gonna look like there a six second video cool right now we're done but why don't we play around with it like what we did with the image so let's close this one we can delete this now go back to video deselect all here so here in this part you can click more and we can change the resolution size which is a good practice before we start doing anything. So go ahead and click this one. We actually have 2K with us, so we can select 4K or we can do a custom and have the resolution change whichever we want. So now we're actually using a rectangle. What about if we want to use a vertical orientation? So of course, just change this to complete opposite. There. But it seems too far. Let's decrease this a little bit more. Okay, so all right, that's how you play around with the resolution. So let's undo that and go back to the beginning. So click here, or you can click the ellipsis, which gives us a choice of renaming it, deleting, or duplicating it. Okay, let's uh, go back and delete this one. Now click here. We're back to our video. So let's play around this a bit. Now, if you want to make another part, you can actually just click this button right here. But let's move our camera somewhere else first. Let's try this view. I'm going to click this. There we go. Now it has a, It now has a second part. Let's leave this at 10 seconds and let's change the view here like this now press this okay now let's play that and see what's gonna look like looks pretty cool hmm it seems like 10 seconds is too long let's put it to six as well all right so next here if you go you can actually click each part you also have the capability of collapsing. Now let's expand it. Let's go to settings. 
here we have the capability to render but that's for another video almost similar to image we have some things to play around with activating the sky dome location to control the, 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 the daytime so let's bring it back to 9 a.m. The weather as well, my favorite part. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? We have a snowstorm right here. The growth of the trees, or rather their age. And some effects that we can play around. Kind of similar to the camera version. Activating the ocean. Wow, my laptop's starting to hang. Let's clear that off. Okay. Gotta remove the weather again. Back to sunny. What else? The camera over here. We can play around with the field of view. But that looks pretty bad. Oh, there's a guy dancing over there. So you either make it just 60, sorry, 60 or 90. What about 120? It's bad. Next, the depth of field to make it a little bit more somewhat realistic. I like having depth of field on and parallelism so we can determine if it's perspective or ortho. I prefer it on, and as usual, the vignetting, my personal favorite, visual effects. I really like this one. Okay, now that should be enough. What if we have two parts, one part of morning, another part in the evening? And how to do that? We click here, go to settings, change the weather. Let's make it somewhat a little bit rainy. Oh, no, sorry. Here, in the autumn, rainy autumn. Now let's change the daytime, should be here. Let's make it somewhat in the evening. There, that should work. Let's play around with the shadows a little bit. Go to render here. Let's increase the shadow distance. It's not like we can do anything about it anyway. Okay. All right. Seems good. So now let's try playing it and see what's going to look like. Oops. Start from the beginning here. Six second warning. Depth of field is on, that's why it's, it looks a bit blurry. Wow, look at that. Amazing, right? Now, let's try exporting it. Look at the roof, it's wet. But here, it's not, since there's a covering above it. Okay, so let's export that now, and let's see how long it's gonna take. Sorry, here. Fast hands. Now export, same folder, now it's just a waiting game. So here's the exported video, let's go ahead and play that. So 12 seconds as you see right here, looks amazing, remember. DOF was on, that's why it was blurry on the first part, and here it's off. Let's play again one more time. Ah, looks amazing, doesn't it? So, alright, I guess that's it for this tutorial. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.